I'm so freaking excited for this video, it is not even funny. What up guys, it's Steph and welcome back to this week's video. It's 2017, yay! For this week's video, we're gonna finally be doing my top 15 K-pop songs of 2016. So, before I get into my top 15, I have a few disclaimers. First of all, everyone has different ears. You like some songs, I like some songs. So if my top 15 isn't the same as yours, that is completely okay. Second of all, when I say this, I mean it. The description box is your best friend. If you're watching the video and there's any song that you really, really like, everything will be down below. I'm not even kidding. I just wanna make it super easy for you guys to find all these songs and all that stuff. Please leave your top 15 down below. And without further ado, let's get into the list. I got into K-pop at the end of 2015 and my favourite group is 4 Minute and so when I found out that they were disbanding I was so, so upset because I got into K-pop super late and they ended up disbanding. But then I found out that my two favourite people in 4 Minute, Hyuna and Jiyun, were both going to be having a solo. Jiyun's I Do, that hit me here. It is so amazing. She is talented. She is gorgeous. She's a good singer. She's a good rapper. She can produce music. She can write lyrics. That song is so amazing and I could not not add this to the list. And so that's why I made it my top 15 song. You guys are probably thinking, what about I Do Nice? What about Pretty You? What about Boom Booms? What about Healing? No. Highlight. Highlight. As soon as I heard Highlight, I fell in love with it because it is the epitome of my music taste. I love songs with really good beats and like EDM kind of sounding. The performance team are uh, it's just so good and I love it so much and it makes me feel so happy every time I listen to it and it's just my favourite song that they've brought out this year. Don't get me wrong, I love all their comebacks but Highlight just does it for me. So glad that Spotify has Discover Weekly because if it wasn't for Discover Weekly, I would never have found this song. This song is so good. It's a gem. It's not very popular and I hadn't even heard this person before, but I love this song. It like it gives me a Dean kind of feel. Oh my god, this song is so good and it just makes me feel so happy. If you haven't heard this song, you need to listen to this song. Like it is so good. I'm gonna be honest, I slept on this comeback a bit. I heard Dynamite and I loved Dynamite so much, but when this came out, I share a room with my sister, and so I always heard her listening to the chorus, and at the time, I wasn't really fond of the chorus that much, but then I'm like, you know what, I'm actually gonna like watch the MV, I'm actually gonna listen to the song. Now, I completely love the song. I love the verse, I love the bridge, I love the chorus, I love everything about the song. I'm so glad I finally listened to it, because it is so good. Vix has a lot of really amazing music, but I just, I love Vix. They're great. I don't know that 
what the reaction will be to me putting this in my list. I don't know if it's going to be A, people being like, what the hell? What about Boom Boom? Boom Boom? Oh my god, what about the hard carry? What about fly? What about this? What about that? Or people will be like, yes, girl. Yes, this song is so underrated. It is so good. Oh my god, yes. This song is so good. In my opinion, I prefer Flight Log Departure more than Flight Log Turbulence. That's kind of biased because I haven't really listened to Turbulence properly. So I kind of just like briefly skimmed through it. The songs on that, they're good, but like I prefer Departure. I love Begging On Your Knees, I love Can't, and I love Fly so much. I love all of their songs on Departure. If I was to listen to any song, in 2016 it would probably be rewind and then hard carry is a close second like those two are my top songs for got seven i just love it so much it is such a good song it's so upbeat and it just makes me feel good and i just really like it it is really good song you should very listen to it yes queen of k-pop like don't even try and challenge me about who else could be the queen of k-pop she slays like all her songs are so amazing and home i love so much her voice is so amazing it's like a freaking angel she's absolutely gorgeous she has so much talent and i love home so much and it had to be on my top 15. Why you can't, I'm with girls. For the longest time, Toy was my number one song of 2016. It's been on repeat for ages. Every time I listen to Toy, it gives me chills. I love Toy so much. It's just such a good feel. And Block B are just overall amazing. I feel like I keep on repeating the same things over and over and over again. In my opinion, they are underrated compared to other people. That song is just so freaking good. I tried to put it as high as I possibly could because it was my number one song for such a long time that I wanted to put it at least like near the top. But this is the closest I could put it because there are so many good comebacks. <laughs> All the armies will agree with me that Yungi killed it this year. He absolutely smashed it with his Auguste comeback, with all the solos. He is just so talented and first love. It gives me chills. It's so good. It's just, he just deserves so much love. It's kind of biased that I'm saying all this because he's my bias, but it doesn't even matter because he's just so talented. Don't get me wrong. I love Save Me. I love Fire. I love Blood, Sweat and Tears. But Yungi, yes. <laughs> No matter what, Infinite always bring out amazing comebacks. I love The Eye so much. It is such a good song and I just want to like dance around the room. I need to get into Infinite more. I'm not really a huge stan of Infinite. I have a bias for Infinite and I listen to their music, but I'm not overly obsessed with them. My sister does. I know my sister does. Like She is obsessed with the Infinite, but they are so good. The Eye, yes. I don't really know how you guys would tell that I like this song. Like, there's no way you guys could know that I like this song. Like, 
as soon as Blackpink debuted, I was screaming when I watched Boom By R because they are the girl group that I've been waiting for. Like, they're not cutesy and girly. They're like badass. I just love Blackpink so much and they've become my favorite group now. And I absolutely love playing with fire so much. Out of all their songs that they've released, I love playing with fire the most. I love playing with fire. It's so freaking good. <laughs> I'm gonna get super passionate. Disclaimer. You kiss are so underrated, it is not even funny. This song is so good. It's actually insane. Oh my god, I love this song so much. I was obsessed with it. I played it on repeat. It is so underrated and it's so freaking good and it makes me upset when none of my friends who like K-pop listen to this song. I love this song. Monster X. Monster X is probably my second favorite group. Their music is so good. It just blows my mind how good it is. And I remember late at night I was listening it to their The Clan Part 2 album, I'm pretty sure. And I came across Queen and I felt like screaming. I was shook. This song, Queen, it's just so good. So I got into Queen as well as Heartless around the same time and I was obsessed with those two. These two songs are so good. If you have not heard these songs, you need to listen to these songs because they're so good. Oh my god. <clears throat> I'm getting overly passionate. I'll be your man. I need to get into BTOB more because as well as fantasy, I slept on this comeback as well. But as soon as I heard it, I fell in love with it. I can't describe these songs any more than just saying they're good because these songs are good. Like I just really like this song. All these songs make me so happy. I love the beat, the singing is amazing, the rapping is amazing. This song is just overall amazing and I need to get into BTOB more because there was no way in literal hell that I could not put Big Bang as at least the second song on my list. While Ailey is the queen of K-pop forever, no matter what, Big Bane are the kings of K-pop. They are so talented, so dedicated. They've been here for such a long time and they've smashed it this year. It's almost like a tribute that I'm putting this as second because they're all going into military services and so they're not gonna have a comeback for such a long time. They needed one more comeback before they went to military services and they smashed it. It is so good. There is no other way I could describe it. It's such a feel good, dance around, happy kind of song. It's just such a good song. And now for my long list of honorable mentions. <laughs>
dance is in here. Stop that shit, Michael G. Go hang on, man. Pat the need the yeah, it's what we do. Hey, to the G, to the U, to the F, to the I'm the boy, because I'm what I'm the. Not me, you know. What the money, money? When I'm sad, I'm the most sad. Can't stop the dance, so I'm stuck. I'm gonna go to the dance floor. And you guys probably know what this song is. My number one song of 2016 is. Is there any surprise that this is the number one? Is there really any surprise that this is number one? I don't think so. I cried watching the MV. I was so shook. Call me the biggest fan trash ever. You're the biggest fan trash ever. I cried because they are so talented. They are so dedicated. This song is a banger. It is so good. It has been on repeat daily. I play this daily. It is so Good. If you have not heard this, you need to check them out. You need to check out BAP. Oh my god, I'm getting so passionate because this is my favorite song ever. After everything that has happened to them, like with all the lawsuits and everything, they are so good and they need so much recognition. It's just the best song ever and I love BAP so much. I'm not even trying to be biased because they're my favorite group. I just genuinely love the song so much. That is it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you agree with any of the songs that I put on the list and let me know what your top 15 songs are for 2016. I would love to find out new songs and other people can listen to new songs and it can just be like a whole little family of finding new songs. And I'll see you all next week. I hope you had an awesome 2016. I will start my list as of now. Stay lit, stay fresh, stay awesome, and boop! Finally did it. Finally did it. I am sweating like a fucking roast pork on Christmas. Okay, I'm going now.